Okay, I'm just gonna... Uh, some of these videos are gonna be pretty basic. Um, a lot of people may watch them and say, well, tch, anybody knows this, or it's easy to Google it, but, you know. Um, some of these, I, th I think, are would come in handy for some people. So, for, the, for instance, this one, I wanna show you how to um, copy a file over through the terminal and I and the reason I want to show this is because I do it quite often uh, with my xorg.config file when I'm configuring dual monitors I've been working with dual video cards and trying to get certain things to work and I was having issues but doing that um, I'll show you the way I copy over files so let's open up a uh, terminal window here we go now you know what while I do this I want to let's uh, let's go to my home folder and I'm just gonna create a new folder and call it, um, let's just call it test. Okay, and then I'm gonna go inside that. So here, I'm gonna leave this open, go over here to my terminal, and I wanna sh kinda show you, I'll just hover it over it so we can see. Let's see what I'm typing here. Okay, now, where are we at? Within the terminal, this little tilde sign here means that you're in your home folder and just to verify that you do print working directory pwd okay it shows home chris now what's inside that let's just do plain old ls um, you can see our it shows a list of our folders and here's the test folder so let's go ahead and cd into that cd test and tab completion works too as well so you can just start typing the folder and hit tab and it will complete it so now we know they're there let's do another pwd okay it shows for slash home Chris and test okay now since we're in here let's create let's create a file uh, just just so we can have something to play with um, and to do that there's a script called touch T O U C H and let's just let's just create something called um, my file okay and you see it showed up behind there let me move it so in case you can't see it there's a test my file so now let's say we want to copy that to let's just say we want to make a copy of it and name it something else you can go and this is what i do with my xorg config like before i start messing around with my video settings i'll do a sudo and and I, we don't have to do a sudo here but because i created this file but um i'll just use it anyway so i would do a sudo and go cp for copy space my file since i'm in the directory the tab completion works I don't, and I don't have to give the, the actual path and then I want to just copy it to something called my file 2 okay enter and because I'm using sudo which again I don't have to for this file but I'm gonna I have to put in my password so there you go now there it is and uh, you got my file and my file 2 and I think the reason that there's a little lock here is because I did use sudo so let's try it without sudo let's go copy my file to my file 3 enter yep see now this one doesn't have um, that little lock and let's just look at let's look at this directory with a couple settings here now this shows that my file is I'm the owner now the one I made a copy with with sudo roots the owner and the third one is me again so that's just kind of, I'll do that with my XORG config. And, and just to show you, let's, see, let's CD into that. So we're going to go Etsy, X11, uh, and then we'll do LS. Let's do AL with um, grip XORG config. And this will show all the files I have. And here's some backups that were created automatically. And here's some backups that I created. Some backups just with uh, some different file names and stuff. So and it shows that root is the owner. So you have to sudo copy those when you need to make a backup. But um, that's just a real quick little tutorial on, on what I use for um, copying over files pretty quickly. So.